about bridges by William Herncher. So anytime you go anywhere, you see bridges. Bridges are used by cars on roads and highways. Trains use bridges to cross rivers and roadways. Even people use bridges when they're just walking around. Bridges are designed by structural engineers. The structural engineers use equations to calculate to make sure the bridge won't collapse. There are four common types of bridges I will discuss today. Beam, arc, suspension, and truss. But of course, there are many, there are more than four types of bridges. There are hundreds. The first type of bridge is the beam bridge. These are the simplest possible bridges. They are made up of simple beams and are very easy to build. They are rarely longer than 250 feet. These are the most common bridges you see every day. Examples include overpass bridges on the Houston freeways, short bridges over creeks and bayous, short train bridges, short walkway bridges. So here are some pictures of beam bridges. You see they all are very simple. So if you, if you see a simple bridge, it's probably a beam bridge. So here's the longest beam bridge in the world. It's the Shibampo Yangtze Bridge in China, and it is 1,083 feet long. The second type of bridge is the arch bridge. Arch bridges have arches that are in compression. So whenever a load pushes down on top of the arch, the arch gets squeezed together. And that is what holds up the bridge. They are most complicated they are more complicated to build than beam bridges. They are one of the oldest types of bridges. The oldest arc bridges were made of stone and are common in Europe. Nowadays arc bridges are used when you want the bridge to look pretty. So here are some pictures of arch bridges. So as you can see, they're all very old bridges. So this is a picture of me on an arc bridge in the Japanese tea garden in San Francisco. This is a type of moon arc bridge popular in Japan and China. So here's the longest arc bridge in the world. Shaotianmen it is the Shaotianmen Bridge in China and it is 1,811 feet long. The third type of bridge is the suspension bridge. Suspension bridges are made of the deck or roadway, the towers, the cables, and the anchors. The cables are attached to the towers and the deck. It is actually the cables that support the bridge rather than the deck. The anchors attach the bridge to the ground. Here are some pictures with the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. And here is me touching the cables. Each cable is used to support part of the bridge. If one single cable breaks, there is no problem. But if multiple cables break, the bridge will collapse. The cables are huge. Okay, so here are some examples of other suspension bridges. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. It is the longest suspension bridge it has the longest suspension bridge span in the world. The longest span is 6,532 feet. Actually, it is the longest span of any kind of bridge in the world. Also, the Fred Hartman Bridge in Baytown, Texas. It's the longest suspension bridge in Texas. The bridge is 2.6 miles long, and the longest span is 1,250 feet. The fourth type of bridge is the truss bridge. Truss bridges are made of triangles. I will explain why later. So the, the red parts of the bridge are, are in tension. That means that they're being pulled apart. And the green parts are in compression, which means they're being squeezed together. It is the combination of tension and compression that holds the bridge together and helps support the load. Here is a picture of a truss bridge. And if you do notice that it is made of triangles, the longest truss bridge in the world is the Ikitsuki Bridge in Japan, and it is 1,300 feet long. So why are truss bridges made of triangles? Truss bridges could be made from squares or some other shape, but they are not. This is because a truss bridge made from triangles is the strongest of all possible truss bridges. I will now demonstrate this with a real example. So in the previous slide, I said that truss bridges are made out of triangles and not squares. Here's why. So right here, I have a square made with, connected with binder clips, and you see it, it takes very little force to move the square. 
very little force. And here's the triangle connected with binder clips. And no matter how hard I try, ugh, ugh, it's impossible for me to move it. Ugh. And that's why engineers make truss bridges of triangles and not squares. So I built two truss bridges out of popsicle sticks and glue. I built one square truss bridge and one triangle truss bridge. And if you look, the square truss bridge is about 36 inches and it weighs about 299 grams. And the triangle truss bridge is also about 36 inches and it weighs about 343 grams. Now on to the load testing. So for the load test, both bridges will be tested the exact same way. I will use books to support the ends of the bridges. The distance between the books will be 30 inches. This is the span of the bridge. I will add weights until either the bridge collapses or until I run out of weights to add. Because the weights are too large, I will have to put most of them on top of the bridge instead of on the roadway part. My hypothesis is that the truss bridge built with triangles will be stronger than the bridge built with squares. So now we're going to load test the square bridge. As you can see, the books are separated 30 inches apart. Now let's start the load test. So here we have a 1.25 pound weight. And another 1.25 pound weight. This is 2.5 2.5 pounds. And the bridge has not collapsed. <clears throat> now we're going to get a 5 pound weight. That bridge has not collapsed. Another 5 pound weight. Bridge has not collapsed. Another five pound, no collapse yet. Bridge has not collapsed. Okay, another five pound. Bridge has not collapsed. Another five pound. And the bridge, the bridge collapsed. As you can see, the popsicle sticks at the bottom broke first, which caused the entire bridge to collapse. So the bridge collapsed at 32.5 pounds. So now I'm going to load test the triangle bridge. And just like the square bridge, it's also the books are also 30 inches apart. So now let's start. There's 5 pounds. And then another five pounds. Here's another five pounds. Another five pounds. Here's another five pounds. And another five pounds. Here's another five pounds. And then we're out of five pound weights. Now we're going to add 2.5 pounds. And then another 2.5 pounds. And now we're going to add 1.25 pounds. And the bridge did not collapse at 47.5 pounds total. Before the load test, my hypothesis was that the square bridge would be weaker than the triangle bridge. The square bridge collapsed at 32.5 pounds and the triangle bridge did not collapse at 47.5 pounds and I'm sure it could hold more. So that means my hypothesis was correct. So in conclusion, there are four types of bridges, beam, arch, suspension, and truss. Truss bridges built out of triangles are stronger than bridges built out of squares. It is important that bridges be designed by structural engineers so that they don't collapse when being used.